time for a quick tip. Don't know if I should start doing this or not. I'm sure you guys will tell me in the comments down below the video. Um, basically, we're going to talk about glues. Right here I have five types of glue. Okay. You have CA, cyanoacrylate, or something like that. I know I'm mispronouncing it. It's called CA or super glue. We have microscale crystal clear. Only I like that over a regular PVA glue because it feels just a little different. It dries, it's a little tackier, and it dries a little quicker. But other than that, it's just really like a white glue. I just like it better. It dries a little bit more clear too with a gloss clear shine to it. A little more plastic looking when it's dry. We have some really hot type glue, some Ambro Ambroid Pro Weld. We have Tamiya Extra Thin Cement and regular Tamiya Cement. What I want to do is run through real quick and talk about the merits of each glue. Super glue. Dries really fast. You can use it for a seam filler. It holds the plastic together. It doesn't weld the plastic together. I'll explain the welding in a second. Since it holds the plastic together, if you're building a model and you're afraid you might have to take it apart at one time or another, use super glue because the seam will come apart if you hit it right. Okay? Whereas if you use something like the Pro Weld, this welds the plastic together. What it does is it melts part of the plastic. And while the plastic's melting, you hold it together, it causes the plastic to bond. So it's really just like welding. All right? Now the problem with this is if you want to take the model apart later, you ain't going to do it with this easily. It will usually break the plastic somewhere other than the seam. So you don't want to use this for anything you want to take the model apart. Plus, if you ever get into resin models, you're pretty stuck with the CA glue. Okay? Because it's the only glue that works on resin models. I think PVA glue would work too there, but we'll talk about that in a minute. Now, both the Pro Weld and the Extra Thin Cement work on capillary action. You put the parts together, paint them along the seam, the uh, glue is so thin it sucks right into the seam and starts working. Both of them work off that principle. You have to be really careful with the Ambroid because if your fingers are close to the seam, the glue will suck under your fingers and you'll leave a fingerprint in the surface of the model. I haven't had that problem with the Tamiya Extra Thin. It's not as hot, so it won't melt as much plastic. But I haven't had that problem with it. So if I've got delicate parts, I tend to grab the extra thin. The Ambroid is for something I think is going to give me really bad joints. Okay. With the Ambroid, the parts must be held together when you glue them. You can't put the glue on and then attach them. It won't work with this. I've done that with this. It, it doesn't work really well. This is really good for holding the two parts together then putting glue on. Just like this. But this, you cannot apply glue, then hold the parts together. Don't work. you got to have them together first. I'm sure someone will correct me out there and say they've gotten that to work. I've gotten it to work on a limited basis, but it works better with this stuff. Which gets me to the Tamiya Cement. It doesn't work well with capillary action. You paint this on, then put the parts together. Sometimes that's what you need. That's why I have some of this around. You can tell I've used it a lot. The jar's almost empty. I've got a spare jar in the back because I heard this stuff was going off the shelf due to labeling issues. I stocked up. Just like I got a spare jar of this in the back too. Um, this again is great for applying the glue, then putting the parts together. Good example that was Godzilla's mouth. Okay. His upper jaw didn't fit in there correctly and it was moving around on me. So I put some Tamiya cement on there and then positioned the jaw where I wanted and held it. Okay? I couldn't do that with other glue because I couldn't hold and glue at the same time. So only the Tamiya cement worked on that. Alright? So there's the differences there. And that's why I keep these three around. Okay? This works better for small delicate parts. This works for I need this seam done and I need plastic squirted out between the seams works great for that. Leaves me micro crystal clear. I use it for putting canopies on airplanes, windows and cars. I use it for clear things. Okay. 
you can also thin this a little bit with water and you can get it to make a nice film across the hole and when it dries it turns into a window. I did that on the space shuttle, the 747 model. Okay, I like this stuff. It's a little bit more tacky than regular PVA glue. It seems to do a better job of making the windows in regular PVA glue. Just a little bit. It's not that expensive. Granted, for the price I paid for this, I'd get a jar of the PVA glue two or three times its size. Won't argue with that. But I've had this bottle for a year now, and I've used maybe down to where my thumb is. I don't use this much. I have a jar of PVA glue I use for things like making trees and other things. So there you go. Quick rundown on different kinds of glue and when I use them. Hope this helps someone. Let me know. Give me your comments. Thank you.